All right, so here we're looking at uh, angles and polygons. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to mess with this, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to create this chart. This chart is uh, something that's going to help us keep track of a bunch of information as we go along. So um, on your um, on your paper there, let's go ahead and create a chart where we can do this and here. And here we're going to call this the number of sides. So sides of the number of sides of a polygon. Um, and then you'll see what I mean here in a second. Numbers of, of triangles. And then uh, the angle measure. All right. So number of sides, number of triangles, and angle measure. And that's going to, like, what do you talk about, Mr. Stevens? I don't know. That you'll see as we go. All right. So <clears throat> the first polygon. Uh, that we have, right, as we saw in the last video, the number of sides, the smallest number of sides we can have in any polygon is three. So here we go. Let's draw a three-sided polygon like that. I'm going to do a lot, of, uh, a lot of extra drawing. You don't need to do these drawings. You need to keep track on this chart. This is going to be most important, okay? So here, we have a triangle, so the number of sides is three. And uh, when we look at this, we know that the interior, the sum of the angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees, right? How many triangles did we create with one triangle? Well, we created one triangle. And then our angle measure here is a total of 180 degrees. Okay, now let's get into something a little bit more interesting. Let's create a random uh, quadrilateral, right? There we go. How many sides do we have here? One, two, three, four. So total number of sides is four. Now here, how many triangles can we make out of quadrilateral? You've already seen me do this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect two vertices, All right? I connected two vertices, and now I see I have one, two total triangles. So if I have four sides, so a quadrilateral, how many triangles did we end up with? We ended up with two. Now I get 180 degrees here, and then 180 degrees here for a grand total of 180 plus 180 gives me zero, so 360 degrees, but I think you already knew that. All right, so we ended up with 360 degrees. Okay, now we're going to draw a five-sided figure. So we want five total sides. So one, and then two, three, four, and five. All right here, we have a Pentagon, five-sided figure. Okay, now what happens? So I'm gonna split this. I'm gonna connect vertice to vertice. Obviously, I can't connect any that are right next to each other. But if I connect these two vertices here, and then let's do these two vertices here. How many triangles do we create? Right, we created one, two, three total triangles. All right, so the number of sides here is five, the number of triangles is three, and the angle measure, so this one here, that's 180, plus these three here is 180, plus these three, here gives us 180. So 180 plus 180, so here's zero. One, two, three. Three times eight is 24. Two, three, four. 540. So the, the sum of the angles, all of the angles for a pentagon is 540 degrees. Uh, let's try six. Six-sided figure. Stevens. All right, here we go. All right, one, 
two, let's go three, uh, four, uh, five, six. Random, super random, six sided figure. And now we can split this into triangles. So we get a triangle there, we get a triangle there, and we get a triangle there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six sides on the outside. How many triangles do we create? We have one, there's another triangle, there's another one, there's another. So we got four total triangles. Now, each triangle is 180 degrees, so that's 180. 180, uh, 180, one. you know what would be easier? What if I just did four times 180 on my calculator? What do we get? Four times 180, 720. So for six sides, we ended up with four total triangles and 700, and what did the calculator say? 720 degrees. Okay, I think we're starting to see a little bit of a pattern here, right? I was able to multiply the number of triangles by 180 to get the total angle measure, right? But what is the pattern here? If we had a seven-sided figure, how many triangles would we get? We'd end up with five triangles. And five times 180, everybody knows, all together is... 900, uh, everybody knows that, right? Everybody knows that. My six month old daughter just yelled 900 from the living room. So you all should feel silly for not knowing that. As the pattern grows, here's what we're looking at. The, we could take the number of sides minus what? What do we get here? Well, three minus two gives me one. Does that pattern continue? What's four minus two? Two. Five minus two is three. Six minus two is four. Seven minus two is five. So we can start to make a statement here. The angle measure, so we could say the sum of the angles of a polygon is uh, the number of sides, let's call them S. So we're gonna say S minus two, the number of sides minus two, because that would give us the number of triangles. And then we take the number of triangles here and we're gonna multiply it times 180. All right, so the, uh, the total number, the total uh, angle measure, so our total angle measure is equal to the number of sides minus two times 180. Let's, let's make that a formula. So let's, let's do this. Let's go, uh, we'll call T will be the total angle measure is equal to, and this kind of is a little bit backwards. I like to see my number in front of the parentheses. So we're going to say 180 minus, oh, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. No, 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 no. Don't mess up. Quit being human. Okay, I'll try again. The total is equal to 180 times S minus 2. What S is the number of sides. All right, so T is our total angle measure. Total angle measure. And S is our number of sides. Okay. Now, Let's say, let's say, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, we have our, our first, this is our first big formula. So we're gonna look at three, there's gonna be three different formulas, so to speak, that we end up with here. There are gonna be three of them. So this is the first one that we're gonna look at, right? Where 180 times S minus two is gonna give us the total angle measure. It's gonna give us our total angle measure. So we could ask something like, um, you know, what's the angle measure of a 12-sided, uh, oh, let's just do that. Let's, here's, let's do this example here. Uh, what 
is the total angle measure measure of a of a 12 gun so the total angle measure of a 12 gun how many sides does a 12 gun have well it has 12 so then we could say t equals 180 times and then s being sides we 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10, so we get 180 times 10. I don't need my calculator. Yay! It'd be 1,800 degrees. All right. So, for a 12 sided pentagon, or just not pentagon, a 12 sided gun, or a 12 gun, what we end up with is 1,800 degrees. So if we drew 12 sides, each, uh, the total number, the total angle measure for all 12 is a 1,800 degrees. Okay? All right, so let's take a look. There's something else that we could do here. What happens, what happens if we have a regular polygon? So for regular, polygon if we have a regular polygon um, what we could do regular meaning all sides are equal so if all the sides are equal that means all the angles are equal right and if you think about it when we saw an equilateral triangle what are the angle measures of an equilateral triangle well, it's, there's three angles, right? So we have three angles, and we know that the total in the total 180 degrees, right? So one angle then must be 180 divided by three, which gives us 60 degrees. What we did is we could say, um, what we could do is we could say that uh, for one, interior angle of a regular polygon we could take the total right because 180 was the total angle measure and divided by the number of sides so we could say so for one interior angle let's call that i for interior angle it's equal to the total divided by the number of sides. Well, as we saw earlier, we already have a formula for the total, right? 180 times S minus 2. So here what we could do for an interior angle, we could say 180 times S minus 2 all over S, right? Because S is our number of sides. Here we have another formula. This is our second formula that we can use. This is our second formula that we can use. And I really like this because this formula is uh, one that we can use, uh, I don't want to say all the time, but this is well, this one's pretty helpful. Now, um, here's something pretty interesting. Here's something pretty interesting. Um, if I do a little bit of algebra here, all right, so here we go. Uh, let's call it some algebra. Let's take that formula, 180 times s minus 2 divided by s. If I distribute 180 here, I would get 180 times s minus 2 times 3, 180 is 360, right? All of that divided by s. Now, here's something pretty interesting. There's something I can do is I, since I have a binomial, so I have this two terms divided by one term, I can take each individual term and divide it by S. So this whole thing then becomes 180 S divided by S minus 360 divided by S. And 180 times S divided by S, that cancels. So the interior, now we get this new little formula. We get 180 minus 
360 divided by S. That would be our interior. This is uh, another way of looking at the exact same formula that we had. So either one that you choose to use is absolutely fine. I personally like this one because it uses the total that I'm familiar with and then just divides it by the number of sides, and that's fine. Some people are gonna find this one to be easier. Either way, it's the same thing, right? Where the interior angle, one single interior angle of a regular polygon is equal to 180 minus 360 over S. And that's cool. That's that, this is this is this is awesome. Now, here's something I want to show you. <clears throat> something called an exterior angle of a regular polygon, or the exterior angle of a polygon. So the exterior angle of a polygon. What that is. So let's say we have. Uh, I'm going to do a really crudely drawn pentagon here. All right, so let's let's say this is a regular pentagon, okay? We have, uh, if I were to extend just one of these sides like that, we could say here's the interior angle, and here is the exterior angle. So if I extend one side out like this, the exterior angle matches with the interior angle. What do they both add up to? Well, it's a straight line, right? So these two add up to 180. So an in, oh, not that one. Interior and exterior angles. Supplementary. In other words, an interior angle plus an exterior angle equal 180 degrees. Well, if I wanted to find the exterior angle of a regular polygon, then I would subtract the interior angle from both sides. So an exterior angle is equal to 180 minus an interior angle. And we already know that an interior angle is 180 minus 360 over S. And if I distribute this negative, I get 180 minus 180. A negative times a negative is a positive plus 360 divided by S. 180 minus 180 is gone. So one exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by S. This is our third formula that we need to know. So this is good for one exterior angle of a regular polygon. 